Hey guys, this is George and welcome to this third uh, plugin development uh, tutorial for WordPress. Uh, so in the last tutorial we created our plugin file and we named it and now we activated this plugin uh, in our WordPress uh, uh, installation here in my computer. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to add some functionality to this uh, plugin by using hooks uh, and uh, adding some actions to that plugin when you uh, publish a post. So, what exactly are hooks uh, in, in WordPress? These are like events and uh, go ahead and type add action and uh, see what I'm going to type. I'm going to type here to publish post and then I'm going to type in a, a function. This is going to be my function just like that I'm going to create a function uh, down below over here. Function, my function. So I'm going to explain a, li a little bit of what uh, is going on. So this add action is basically a way to telling your plugin that you are going to execute an action, which is basically this function over here. And uh, I'm going to type here some code to be executed. And that function is going to be triggered when this event uh, called publish post uh, is uh, um, is triggered and uh, that event uh, is called a hook in WordPress and hooks are basically an action hook or a filter hook so this is the most basic this is an action hook and basically what we're uh, ma making is that uh, when, when you publish a uh, a post in WordPress, you are going to trigger this event and you are going to execute this function over here just like that. And over here, you specify the function. Don't uh, you don't uh, put inside the parentheses. You uh, you only type in the name of your function, just like that. And uh, we're going to go to our WordPress installation over here, and we're going to post and add new. So I'm going to type in uh, this um, test post. And I'm going to write here. This is some content. So when we click this button over here, that uh, event that we type in will be triggered in this function. Now we're going to write in some code in the function. Uh, we're going to add uh, some tags to the post uh, that we're publishing. And to do that, you need to write in the, the next. You need to declare a variable. I'm going to call it post ID, and type in the method uh, get the ID. And this method basically runs on the context that uh, when you publish the, that post, uh, basically you get the ID of the post that uh, triggered uh, this action over here. So when you have that, uh, now we're going to create an array of uh, tags. I'm going to call it tags. I'm going to say this array contains uh, some tags, for example, programming, and uh, I'm also going to add uh, tutorials. And I'm going to type in, uh, for example, WordPress. So this uh, array here contains these three elements that we're going to add in as tags. And the function uh, to add those tags uh, to this post is, the, is uh, this one. You type uh, WP set and then post tags. And this function has uh, three parameters. Uh, the first one is the ID of the post uh, that you're going to add uh, the tags and so you type post ID which is this variable over here then you type in the tag array tags and then the, the third parameter is uh, true or false because if you type in true that will mean that you will um, append the tags to the tags that already exist in that post and false uh, will uh, overwrite them so go ahead and type in true and save this file and now that we save this file, we are going to go uh, to our WordPress um, post over here. Now, notice that uh, we have n we don't we do not have any tags now. Well, we'll type in uh, this is a tag and add this tag over here. And I'm going to publish the post, and we're going to see that uh, the extra tags uh, that we type in here they're going to be added to the post. So I'm going ahead and type in click the polish button and we will go over here and we will say programming tutorials and WordPress and these tags are being added uh, 
through the plugin that we are uh, coding right now. If we go to see the post, in the post you will find the tags that we put uh, in the plugin. So I hope you guys like this tutorial, this demonstration of how the, the hook of um, published post uh, works. Um, so don't forget, hooks are like actions uh, in the WordPress. No, I'm sorry, hooks are like events in WordPress and those events can trigger actions, actions that you define uh, with the add action uh, function and by your functions obviously. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, like this tutorial, if you do please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you later, so see you later, bye bye.